Hello there, minions. It's Wheezy again. Today on the weekly wrap up, we're going to talk about what you missed on the channel this week, as well as the upcoming Battlefield 2042 beta, which is hopefully very soon, as well as the stuff that they've released and whether or not it's worth me addressing. So let's talk about that a little bit and go check out what happened on the channel. Okay, so let's get right into it. This week, we started out with a video from the last week's uh, Call of Duty Vanguard Alpha for PlayStation, which was some Champion Hill gameplay that I decided to commentate and kind of like give my opinions and also break down a little bit of how kind of Champion Hill works and some, t some little tips and tricks and stuff like that, as well as my thoughts for uh, the upcoming Call of Duty Vanguard. Um, I think it's interesting, worth a watch, and the match, if you haven't seen it, you gotta go watch, because the match was absolutely epic, and the ending is fantastic. So, here's a clip from that video. On that, the map with the, uh, walls in between it, you'll actually spawn staring at somebody, which means you can shoot them immediately, which is not great, so there's some things they might have to tweak, but overall, I like the game mode. When you eliminate a team, they drop their weapons. It's important for you to note that I picked up a sniper rifle that I think my teammate dropped when he picked up uh, an upgraded weapon from the team that we beat. This doesn't happen when you kill a team or win a match. It happens only when you completely eliminate a team. All their weapons drop, and you can go and pick them up. So if you ever eliminate a team, it lets you count down to the end of the match like it would normally get over there and search through their gear. It ended up... No spoilers, but it ended up being pretty important <laughs> in this game. So this, you definitely have to go check that one out if you missed it. Uh, after that, I posted a random gameplay. There's a new game added to Game Pass called 12 Minutes, which has some decently, I say decently, some big name actors doing the voice acting for it. And it's a, a relatively simple little interesting kind of mystery puzzle game. Um, that's kind of dark, but with some surprisingly hilarious kind of like possibilities. Um, I did a commentary of a portion of it, cut it all up, rewatching it back. I, I mean, I guess I'm a dad, so I do laugh at my own jokes sometimes, but I think it's quite a hilarious video. Don't sleep on it. Here is a clip from that video. My wrists. Can I like fight you? I Spoon him. This is <coughs> Use. Use use Faith. spoon with cop. This is a misunderstanding. Look, I don't fucking move. I, I don't know. You don't have to handcuff me. <coughs> oh, dude, that's ah, my blood. What? Jesus Christ. What? What the hell just happened? Uh, I got I got bitch slapped. Oh. Alright, I gotta come out because she, my wife's an idiot. Look, I I don't know. <clears throat> Go out the window! Hands behind don't. your back. No, kick me. I wanna start again. Please. Come on, you bitch! I, I won't tell you. Oh. <laughs> oh, my nose. Perfect. Get the fucking knife. Hurry before she gets done shitting. No. Close the door. Hey there. I'm not here! Yeah, go check that one out. It's a it's a good time, and uh, if you've got Game Pass, or I think it, I'm pretty sure it's been released on the other platforms for you know real money, um, it's worth checking out. I'm not sure if I'd have paid real money for it. It's probably about a, a four or five hour experience, worth my time for sure. Um, so maybe go check out the game too if you want. Um, not sponsored, just enjoyed it. It's kind of the ending is anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so after that. Uh, I posted another, I guess you'll call it random gameplay, but it's a shooter, even though it's a third-person shooter. Um, it is some gameplay of Aliens Fireteam. I picked it up, like, I think either the day it came out or the day after it came out digitally, um, and I just got around to playing it. It's hectic, it's fun, it's not like the kind of game that you have to take super seriously. Like, you just go in, you show up, you get guns, and you shoot aliens. It's, and for a not full-priced game, like, it's a $40 game, Definitely, definitely a good time. So uh, the first mission that I did, uh, I cut up kind of the, the most alien shooty parts of it, put that video together, and here's a clip of that. 
Alien, 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 alien. Ambush. On your toes, Ambush. Watch Shit. Let's reload this. Get some out of that. Throw it. <laughs> Loading. Loading. Kaboomy. These aliens move fast. You suck! Loading. Oh, nicely done. Yeah, go check that video out if you are hankering for some old school M41A pulse rifle sound effect action, some good alien shooting. Uh, it's a good time. The last thing I posted to the channel this week, last week, uh, I'm actually, uh, it's scheduled to be uploaded right now. It'll go live in about 30 minutes as I record this. It is a new episode of Wheezy's War College, but not a module. It's not a 101 module. Um, it is a supplemental content where I discuss off-meta loadouts. Specifically, I posted a couple of games, some cut-ups of some games of me playing with uh, a Riot Shield in Modern Warfare, which got me thinking, you know what, because I was trying to complete some challenges, got me thinking this would make a good uh, conversation uh, centerpiece for talking about using off-meta loadouts in shooters where you're trying to complete challenges or just trying to be silly or maybe trying to be a troll. So um, I did a video on that. I think it's interesting. I think it's got some good value to it as well as some entertaining gameplay. So here is a clip from that one. But in general, this is something that you know you might find yourself needing to do more often than you would really hope. So whether it's something you're doing for fun to do a change of pace or that you don't want to do and you're just trying to do it as efficiently as, pos as, efficiently as possible so that you can complete some challenge or unlock something that's been put behind a, an unlock. Um, again, make sure that you're adjusting your play style. This, this applies generally, but specifically when we're talking about like melee only kits or something like this where you're using a riot shield, something that's less uh, capable offensively or very much targeted at uh, completing a certain challenge, make sure you shift up your play style. This isn't normally how I would attack an objective in domination, right? But with a riot shield, You've got a little bit, you know, a lot more defense, a lot, a lot more ability to just go and plant yourself on the flag and just dare people to come and kill you. So, so make sure you go and check that out. As I've said before, Wheezy's War College is cornerstone content for this channel. It is kind of what this channel exists to help facilitate is for you to have fun playing games and get better at them. So let's move on to talking a little bit about now that it's September, the Battlefield 2042 beta is supposed to be sometime this month as of the recording of this September 3rd um, and I'm gonna probably I'm gonna be posting this on Monday which will be the 6th so maybe by the time this goes live on the 6th there will be an official announcement of the beta date but as of right now there's not but it'll be sometime this month as well as the beta I believe for uh, Call of Duty Vanguard so it'll be interesting how some of these betas uh, flesh out so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Like, I'm super psyched about Battlefield 2042, if you guys haven't noticed yet. Um, but in addition to that, Battlefield has put out a lot of content, um, kind of building the backstory for what's going to be an online multiplayer-only game. They're not going to do a campaign. So they've been releasing kind of, like, story-related content to help build hype for the game. Um, they did several, like, kind of blog posts from the perspective of a reporter during the time leading up to 2042 and talking about kind of how the world gets the way it is. I actually recorded several of those. Like I did, I re just read them with a voiceover and I'm considering taking all of that and cutting it, putting some Battlefield music over the top of it and cutting it into kind of like a pseudo cinematic and maybe putting that alongside um, a, a repost of the short film that they did for 2042. Um, as well as I have sitting here... <laughs> A fully uploaded entire playthrough of the Battlefield 4 campaign, which is with the character, you know, characters that are returning in Battlefield 2042. Battlefield 4 is officially the world of 2042, including character Irish from Battlefield 4. So I decided to go through that gameplay. I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to 
switch over and upload the full campaign gameplay to story time and maybe cut it down to just kind of like the story components for this channel but this would be a good place for you guys to give me that feedback if you have a preference one way or the other um, do you guys want to see me kind of like put together a cinematic or kind of like more produced you know conglomeration of the little pieces of content that dice has put out for the battlefield 2042 backstory um, I think it's an interesting concept. It's going to require a lot of time, um, and I think it might be worth doing anyway. But I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on it, as well as your thoughts on the upcoming beta coming up super soon. And man, it's getting to the part of year when Battlefield's just going to launch next month. The new Call of Duty's coming out in early November, which I'm surprisingly excited for after the alpha, just and the fact that it's on the Modern Warfare engine. Anyway, that's enough for the weekly wrap-up this week. Thank you guys uh, for checking this out. Links for all this stuff, as usual, in the description. And I will see you guys next time.